Hi, I guess we're live. All right, so thank you so much for joining me on the Google Hangout on Air. My name is Yang Yang. I'm the founder of YoYoChinese.com, where you can learn Chinese through more than 400 clearly explained video lessons. And today we're going to talk about tones. Well, I know, since I started teaching Chinese many years ago, I know that tones have a really bad reputation. People just generally find tones really intimidating, thinking that tones are extremely difficult to learn because, you know, in English you don't have tones. And that is absolutely not true. Not only you do have tones in English, you're actually using it every single day. For example, when you say what, or when you say no, you're actually using tones. Give me one. Okay, you're actually using tones. So, so not only you do have tones in English, you actually have the equivalent to all four Chinese tones. And so, the most effective way to learn Chinese is actually learn the Chinese tones. Is to actually to be aware of when and how you already use tone already, and then just apply that in the new way. All right. So today, I'm going to help you build that bridge and help you find the equivalent. In English, that matches the four Mandarin Chinese tones. So today, first, I'm going to give you a lecture on the, what Mandarin four tones are, give you the details, and then I'm going to teach you a really effective technique to practice Mandarin Chinese tones called tone pairs. Basically, after you master the 20 essential words I'm going to give you today, you'll be set, and you'll be able to pronounce any new words. You know, just by you know following what I gave, I'll, I'll give you today. And after that, I'll have a Q and A section where you can ask me any questions. So if you have some questions for me already, just click on the Q and A button on the event page, and that will take you to the page. And then you just need to click Ask a Question and Ask Away. Okay, I'm, I prepared lots of good stuff for you today, and let's get started. All right. Before we talk about four、uh, tones, I want you to identify your normal speaking voice range. Do you know what that means? Okay, so the reason we do that is because lots of people get confused when talking about tones. They think speaking Chinese tones is like singing, so you go to your singing voice. That is not true. You still speak your normal speaking voice. So let's do that.、Um, so. Think about this. If your friend asks you, "What would you like to help me move this weekend?" and you say,、mm, "Maybe." All right, maybe. That's pretty much the highest point of your voice speaking range. And let's say, "Maybe." Repeat after me. Maybe. Maybe. May. All right. Good. You find the highest point. Now let's find the lowest point. So the lowest point is pretty much when your friend asks you. What did you have for lunch yesterday? So you're saying, "Uh, no." So you're like, "Uh," you're thinking, right? You go down to the lowest part of your voice. So you say, "Uh," and that is the lowest part of your voice. Okay, great. And so let's look at this chart. On a scale of one to five, with five representing the highest point of your voice range, and number one representing the lowest part of your voice range. So maybe it's pretty much here. And uh, it's pretty much here, right? Okay, great. Now you find the range. So whatever you say, it's pretty much within that range. Now let me give you some good news. You already mastered two Mandarin Chinese tones. What are they? The first tone, maybe, and low, and the third tone, uh. Let me explain. Okay, the first tone. Is in Mandarin Chinese is just a high flat tone. So it's like when you say maybe, right? May, all right, and then you just stay there for like half or one second. That's the first tone. Repeat after me. May, maybe, may, first tone, and then you already learn the third tone. The third tone is pretty much like a low flat tone at the very bottom. And repeat after me. Uh, I'm thinking. What did I have for lunch yesterday? Uh, uh, that's the third tone. All right. Uh, okay. Maybe first tone high flat tone, and uh, low flat tone. You already got three to- uh two tones. Okay. 
So now let's talk talk about the other two tones. You probably already know that there are four tones in Mandarin Chinese, plus a neutral tone, which we'll talk about in just a bit. Now I'm going to conquer the the other two tones, the second and the fourth tone. First, repeat after me these English words: what, huh, yes. All right, you do it. What, huh, yes. There you go. You're speaking the second tone. All right, the Chinese second tone is just when you say what. It's like a rising tone, rising tone. Okay, what? Hmm. Hmm. Second tone. All right. So now you already know all the、uh, three tones. Maybe what? Ah.、Uh, okay. Repeat after me. Maybe first tone. May first tone. High and flat. What? Hmm. Second tone. And uh, what did you have for lunch yesterday? Uh, I don't know. Uh, third tone. One, two, three. Repeat after me. Maybe. What? Uh. One more time. Maybe. What? Uh. Good. Last one. See, you're almost there. Great. Repeat after me. No. Sure. Yeah, so these are very emphatic, and it's like a right. It's like a downward falling tone, right? So say no, sure, yeah, okay. So that's the fourth tone. So the fourth tone is a downward tone, and it's like when you say no, hmm, hmm. All right, gosh, you already mastered four Mandarin Chinese tones within what, like two minutes? So the tip, the trick to think about each tone is to really drill this in your mind. Okay, each time you think about one Chinese tone, associate that tone with the English word and how you say it, and then you'll get the tones out. In English, when you have different tones, you're expressing emotions or attitudes. But in Chinese, they have different meanings. So you need to associate how you say these English words with a specific Chinese tone. The first tone will be maybe. Hmm, I don't know. What? Uh, no. So that'll be the sec, first, second, third, and fourth tone. Repeat after me. Maybe. What? Uh, no. May. What? Uh, no. May. What? Uh, no. May. What? Uh, no. Great job. Okay. Now I want you to say it. One, two, three. Me, what? Uh, no. Hmm. 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 Me, what? Uh, no. Okay. Great. All right. So now you know what the four tones are and their associated English sounds. Okay. The way to practice Mandarin Chinese tones, the best way is to com、uh, is to practice the tones in combination instead of individually. So let me show you a graph that's really really helpful for you. Okay, look at this tone. Tone.、Um, this is like a tone pinyin tone pairs table. So basically. Most Chinese words are two-syllable words, and they come from one of these combinations, and we call these combinations pairs. Then Chinese words for each of these combinations are the sample words that I want to I want you to master, which we show you in this table. So what I mean by mastering is that you need to make sure you pronounce them perfectly with 100% right tones. Don't worry, we're going to go through all these 20 words one by one. Okay, so let me switch back. Just take a look at this chart and table. Okay. Okay, great. So you saw that that chart, right? Don't worry about it. And、um, by by the end of the hangout, I'm going to list it in the description part of this event page, so you can actually go and download the chart. So the reason why mastering these two twenty essential words are extremely important is because、um, just by This foundation in the future, when you learn any new Chinese word, and this foundation will actually give you a quick 
uh, association or link in between what the new word is and what you're already familiar with. And that's the most effective way to learn Chinese because when you learn another a, to, a, a word that with a third or tw a second tone combination, you can just say, oh, that's easy. It's just one of the three, two uh, combination word that I already, I already know. I, I already know what the tones are like for this specific combination. Make sense? Okay, great. Let's wait no more and dive into these 20 essential words. I want you to master them so well. You know, I want you to... If other words don't matter, these words matter. Okay, so let's do it. The first one is the one one combination. Okay, one one combination. Think about one one is what? Like, um, that's jin tian, right? It's like maybe, maybe, right? Okay. Oh, just give me one second. I need to explain something real quick to you. Um, where's the sheet? I'm looking for it. Oh, by the way, so how do we, how can we tell what kind of tones these are, right? So there's something called tone marks. And what you see here is the tone mark that represents what tone it is. And I will explain that to you one by one. So let's first talk about the first tone. So one one combination will sound like maybe, maybe, right? May, may. So today is jin tian, jin tian, jin tian. Maybe, maybe, jin tian, maybe, maybe. Okay, good. The one two combination, which is the hmm, what? Remember, uh, maybe, what? Maybe, what? All right. And then the sample word is. China, Zhongguo, maybe what? Zhongguo, Zhongguo, maybe what? Maybe what? Okay, so you see for the second tone, it's just the, the tone mark is consistent with the second tone, which is a rising tone. And the first tone is just like a flat tone, which is consistent with the first tone, remember? Okay, great. So Zhongguo, so, you see the tone mark completely are consistent with the tones. Okay, let's move on to the third combo. One, three combo. First tone and third tone. Okay, so remember the first tone is maybe, right? May and third tone is what? Remember? That'd be uh, uh, really low. What did you have for lunch yesterday? Uh, right? Third tone. Uh, uh, right, so maybe, uh, maybe, uh. So the combo would be ice water. Oh my gosh, you gotta learn this. In China, no matter where you go, they, no matter if it's summer or winter, they just bring you a cup of hot water all the time, right? So this is an essential word for you if you want ice water, okay? So ice water is bing shui, bing shui. All right, so the tone mark here is the third tone, right? So you say, uh, why does it look like this? Because the third tone is actually a low flat tone, hmm, right? So the third tone is a very unique one because actually when third tone is pronounced um, by itself, it's, it's a bouncing tone. But don't worry about that, you know, for now, just remember the third tone is actually looks like a V sign, okay? So third tone is a V sign instead of like a little flat tone. Just remember that. Bing shui. Mei a. Uh. Maybe uh Bing Shui. Remember this word Bing Shui. Yeah. Alright. One four combination. Maybe no. Maybe no. May no. And then so you apply that tone to this, there'll be what? I know is to know is Zhi Dao. Zhi Dao. So the fourth tone mark is consistent with the fourth tone as well. So this is the, see, this is like a falling tone. And then for the fourth tone, this is a falling tone as well. All right. Zhi dao. Zhi dao. Maybe, maybe, no. Good. Okay. So now is the one plus five. What does that mean? Okay. Let me just show you that graph real quick. Okay. Okay. 
So you see the one five here. Five is actually a neutral tone. So a tone that does not have a tone mark, we we call we we call it a toneless tone. All right. So let me switch back, and I'll explain what that is, that means. Okay. For any neutral tone, just remember two things. The neutral tone is usually in the middle of your voice range. All right. So here's the highest. This is the lowest. This is sort of, sort of in the middle. So. Uh, maybe. Uh, so this will be like uh, you know, like in the middle, roughly, and then it's usually very short and quick and sweet. So if other words like character are two beats, and then the toneless tone or the tone without a mark is basically just one beat. It's short and sweet. So when you say one, what's a one five combination will sound like maybe uh, ah、uh, ah,、uh, maybe ah,、uh, may ah.、Uh. And it's very quick. And may ah,、uh, may ah.、Uh. All right. So,、uh, how do you say really, really, gender, gender, maybe ah,、uh, gender. Good. Remember this word, gender. I'm not lying to you. Really, gender, gender. 非常好 All right. The two one combination. The two one combination is what? What may right? What may, what may, good, and then it applies to this very common word tomorrow. What may, 明天 What may, 明天 Repeat after me. 明天明天明天明天 Good. Two two combination that will be what 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 right? Yeah yeah or um or yes yes. Huh? Huh? Right? What? What? All right, and that will apply to this word next year. 明年，明年，明年，非常好 ，very good. Next one, the two-three combination. Two is second tone. Hmm. And third, remember what? And the third is what? Third tone is ah,、uh, what ah.、Uh, What a, what a. So beer. Oh my gosh! Go to the restaurant. You are going to have the best Chinese pronunciation in the restaurant, even better than Chinese people when you say beer. Okay, you say, 啤酒 What a, 啤酒啤酒 One 啤酒啤酒非常好 All right. Hmm. Two four combination. What is what is that? What no? What no? Hmm hmm. All right. Something is very easy. Ah, easy peasy. 容易容易容易 Hmm no. Like what no? 容易 All right. The two five combination, which is the Neutral tone. Oh, did I mention to you that in Mandarin there are four tones, and there the fifth tone is a neutral tone, toneless tone, or a tone that does not have a tone mark. I just want to illustrate that just one more time. All right, the four, the fifth tone. Remember, two things you need to remember for the neutral tone. It's usually in the middle of the voice range, and it's usually short, sweet, and quick. So that'll be what a, what a, what a. All right. And what is 什么什么 What a 什么什么什么 All right, good. 下一个 next one. 嗯、mm. three one combination. Third tone is what? What did you have for lunch yesterday? Uh, uh, first tone. May wow! It's really that you go from the lowest vo your voice to the highest range. So, ah、uh, may, ah、uh, may, ah、uh, may. All right. And it sounds like, so to like we say that all the time, right? 喜欢，喜欢，喜欢。So it sounds like ah ha ah ha ah 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 ah. So remember three one combination is ah ha 喜欢啊哈。阿妹阿妹喜欢，喜欢，喜欢 ，Good. 
Next one. Three two combination. Three two combination. Remember what is number three? Hmm. Low flat tone. That sounds like, uh, uh, uh. You know, whenever you're speaking the third tone, it's almost like you're feeling uncomfortable here because that's not something you're normally speaking all the time. You have really have to go down to the bottom of your your throat and voice and speak that. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? 非常好 And then to get up from bed, you know, if somebody you know is being a lazy bone in the morning, you can say, "Hey, get up." 起床 Uh, what? 起床，起床，起床。呃、uh, ，what? That's the th a three two combination. Good. Okay, here's the tricky part. Three three combination. Okay, keep this in mind. Okay, three three combination is a unique one. And actually, we had a specific Google Hangout on the Chinese tone rule changing in the past. And I need you to dig out that、um, Google Hangout on YouTube, and watch that lesson because I'm not going to go into details here. But basically, the rule is this: when two third tones are together, the first third tone becomes the second tone. As simple as that. So basically, any three-three combination just sounds like the, any two-three combinations. Make sense? So let's just practice the two-three combination here. So that'd be two-three. Would be that's. That is what a, what a, okay, what a. Do you know the very first word you learn in Mandarin is what? 你好 hello, right? Now today, eventually, today is the day you're gonna speaking this word, perfectly. 你好 second tone. So that'll be second tone. What a, 你好你好你好 <laughs> Remember, three three is 你好 okay? 非常好，非常好。下一个，嗯 ，three four combination. Three is the lowest part, uh, and then four is no, right? Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Ha,、ah, we're having fun, aren't we? Yay! So, oh, do you like fried rice? I do. So that would be 炒饭。炒饭，炒饭，啊、uh, ，no， 非常好，炒饭，炒饭 ，OK， three five combination， remember the neutral tone， two things， short and sweet， in the middle range， in the middle part of your voice range， yay， OK， so see， so you start really low， so， and that's in the middle， so basically you're going up a little， so， ah、uh, uh,。Ah, ah, 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 ah. So, this word is the sample word. My or mine? Word, word, word. Okay, word. Okay, four one combination. What is fourth fourth tone? Remember, emphatic. No, sure, yeah, but just remember, no. All right. No, maybe. Remember, no, may. No, may. No, may. What kind of gibberish I'm talking about, right? You're thinking, no, may. <laughs> so, the equivalent. I'm、um, sorry. The sample word is bread. 面包，面包，面包。All right, the second, next one, the four-two combination. No, what? No, what? No, what? Okay. The question or this word can also mean problem. 问题，问题，问题。No, what? 问题，非常好。All right. Four three combination. No, uh, no, uh. Does it sound like someone's name? Noah, Noah. Hmm. No, uh, no, uh. <laughs> And here is, 这里 no, uh, 这里
，这里，这里，非常好。Four four combination. Do you know which word that is the four four combination? Do you want me to say 再见 goodbye? That's all right. So that's four four combination. It's like when you say no, no, right? 再见，再见。It's not 再见 It's not 再见 It's 再见 No, no. Okay. Now you can say hello and goodbye perfectly, and also、uh, ice water, and what else? Oh, 啤酒 beer, right? <laughs> okay. 再见 No, no. There, last one. I know we're you're having fun. You don't want to stop, but we gotta stop somewhere. All right. The four five combination five. Remember, just really quick. I know you probably think I'm nagging you. Okay, it's short and sweet, and middle part of your voice range. So that will be no ah,、uh, hmm, no ah.、Uh, so this is different from the no ah、uh, be before. That will be no ah.、Uh, remember, this is no ah,、uh, right? No, no, no ah.、Uh, go to the middle part. Go up a little bit. So that will be. Remember which word that can match this tone. Thank you. 谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢。Remember this word, okay? Repeat after me. 谢谢。Oh gosh, perfect. Wonderful, wonderful. So now you know. Um, those are the Mandarin Chinese tone pairs. They're very, very important. They're like the building blocks for you to learn Chinese tones. So I highly suggest you. Memorize all these twenty words, and、uh, in the description part, not only I'm going to provide you what you see、uh, on the screen earlier, which is the、uh, tone pairs table with all these twenty essential words, but also I have made a little recording for you,、uh, just to re、uh, read those twenty words over and over again, so you can listen to them, to them, and practice. So what I suggest at the very If you just barely start learning Mandarin, what I suggest is really find a native speaker, a tutor, a friend, whoever, right? At least at the beginning, help you master these twenty words. Make sure you absolutely pronounce pronounce them one hundred percent correctly, and then you can move on to any any other words, and you'll be very confident that you're speaking the right tones. Okay, so this is what we call, talk about tone pairs.